to where I once was. I realize the mire in that pit that I once lived in, that I thought was having a good time, that I thought was filled, living it up. But then I realized what life was all about and what true love really was and what true peace really was and what true love really was and what it truly was to be cared for and to be loved. You know, I realize those things so much now and I don't want to ever forget. And you know what? If I ever begin to think that I stand here within my own strength or my own ability, then I've missed the mark so much because I need Him. Because I'm only standing here because of Him. Because of His strength. Because of my God and my Savior. I'm not standing here with the strength of my own. But I'm standing here because of the strength and the power of my Savior. And I love Him tonight. And I'm so thankful that I know Him. And I'm so thankful that He's there for me every time I need Him. We're going to take up a few prayer requests tonight. We're going to make a connection with someone. I know He's always wanting to make a connection. But I really feel Him pushing in my spirit tonight. That He's wanting to connect with someone in a special way. And just because you may not feel Him the way what I feel Him, or the way your neighbor feels Him, or the way so you may not respond the way somebody else responds, or you may look and say, I just don't feel what they feel. Or I'm just not sure I believe in all that the way they believe in it. You know, I met a guy one time on a job, you can be seated, and he was atheist, didn't believe in God, going on. You know, I looked at him as he went on, I was like, you know what? And he, he was a traveler from another, and, and my trade is through the local, a traveler, someone that's out of another local and out of another state, and he was from out of state. And I said, you know what? You didn't know me before this job, before you met me here. You didn't know me. I mean, you didn't have a relationship. You knew, you, as far as you knew, I did not exist. Right. He kind of looked at me. I said, the only problem you have is that you don't have a relationship with him. Right. That doesn't mean he doesn't exist. Right. That doesn't mean that he's not there. The problem is, you just ain't met him yet. Right. And he kind of looked at me, I said, before this job, before this time, as far as you knew, Shannon Perry didn't exist. Right. But I said, did that make me any less real? Did that make my life any less irrelevant? Right. But no, I've been here 30 some odd years. I've been living, I've been breathing, I've been moving, I've been touching people's lives. And I feel like that's the same way God's saying tonight to someone. Just because you may not know me the way someone else knows me, don't look at their relationship, but look to me for the relationship that I long to give you, that I long to have with you, because I've been here for a long time, and I've been living, and I've been walking, and I've been breathing, and I've been touching people's lives, and I want to touch your life, but you've got to open up your heart, you've got to open up your mind, and you've got to open up your spirit, and say, God, I'm willing to let you let you in. And I feel it so strong in my spirit tonight. God is knocking at your heart, and God's wanting into your life. But you've got to let him into your life. You've got to let him into your life. He's not, he's, he's, he, he is a gentleman. And he's not going to beat your door down. He's not going to slam you on the floor. He's not going to take advantage of you. But he's waiting for you to open the door and say, come on in. God is wanting to make a special connection with someone in this house tonight. And God knows who you are. God's knocking at your door. And I just challenge you to answer that call and to yield to the Spirit tonight and let God do the work that He has so long to do in your life for such a long time. Let's go on and sing that next song tonight. God is in this house tonight. And God is longing to touch your life if you'll just allow Him. There are some things God is wanting to take out of that heart. And he's wanting to cover that heart. Because he has got an outcome for you. That you can't even see. That you can't even understand. That you don't even know. And it's not until you protect and cover yourself. There is some outcomes in your life. There are some outcomes that are in front of you right now. Because of the actions you have made. But God 
is going to take them and turn them around. I hope you can hear me in the spirit tonight. I hope you hear me what I'm saying. Someone needs to grab a hold of this and let God do a renewing in their mind and in their soul and in their heart tonight. And let God penetrate your heart and touch your heart tonight. Because out of the heart are the issues of life. What's your outcome going to be? It's all dependent upon you. Your outcome is dependent upon what you do right now. What you do tomorrow. My outcome, my issues of life is all dependent on how I guard myself. How I cover myself. How I protect myself day to day. That goes in much deeper than I can ever touch here in a few minutes. But I just feel in my spirit to tell someone. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. Your answer, your issue, your outcome, your thing in front of you is all determined by what's here and what you allow inside and what you allow to come into your life or what you allow not to come into your life. It's all right here. Let's go on. We're going to worship in song tonight. Just open your heart tonight and let God speak to you.
got to make that step forward. And you've got to allow God into your life once again. And only you can do that. I cannot do that. Brother Dustin, I can't do that. But you can do it. I can't do that by myself, Brother Mark. You can't do that by yourself. But on our knees, we can do it. We've all found ourselves there. I've found myself in that rut. I've found myself in that valley. Brother Mark, I guarantee you've been living it a long time, but you found yourself there. Sister Cindy, I guarantee you, you found yourself there. Sister Cindy, everyone in this house, we found ourselves in that place. But we've got to let, just let go and let God. I don't know, but I feel like there's some that stand in places they feel it's impossible to get out of. But I feel like God is saying, if you'll just lift your hands up, your answer lies above. Your answer don't lie in front of you. Your answer don't lie behind you. Your answer don't lie around you. Your answer don't lie with your brothers and sisters. But your answer lies above. And when you reach up into the heavens, there's going to be a release. There's, God's going to open the windows of heaven. He's going to open the floodgates of heaven. And there's going to be a flood begin to be released into your life and through your life. And everything that's standing in your way and holding you back is going to be washed away forever, never to be seen no more. But you've got to open up and lift your arms and say, God, here I am. And allow those rivers to begin to flow once more. I want to ask Brother Kenny to come just speak his heart to you tonight. And afterwards, Sister Sandra, get ready.